On Sunday, the Israeli government struck sheltering Palestinians who were in tents in the Gaza city of Rafah, killing 45 people and injuring over 200 more, many of them women and children. Now, there was a lot of video that went around after that had happened, and it has uh, led to an outcry because of just the level of carnage on display. The absolute disregard for human life that the Israeli government clearly has. But wait, the Israeli government, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has come out and says that there is a, it was a tragic mistake after Israeli strike killed dozens of Palestinians in Gaza city of Rafah. A tragic mistake. I have the word mistake highlighted here as we're going to go through a short uh, recent history from the so-called mistakes that the Israeli government has uh, claimed they have made. This is what leads to. So this kind of claim of, oh, tragic mistake, and, and oh, there's going to be an investigation. We're going to really look into this and really figure out what happened here. How did we kill civilians again? How did we add to the 40,000 number? How, all these mistakes piling up. This is what ends up happening. This is how the media initially covers it, and then we never hear about it again. This is uh, from the BBC. This is shared by Saul Staniforth. Step back a deadly incident that is being investigated by Israel's defense forces. We wait to hear the results of that investigation. Done with that update from Jerusalem. Thank you. And that is the last time you will hear about this on BBC. It's being investigated. We will wait to hear the results of that investigation. Oh, I'm sh you'll be waiting. You will be waiting. That's for sure. Remember this? Israeli strike kills seven World Central Kitchen workers. Citizens from Australia, Britain, Poland were among seven people killed in an Israeli air raid in central Gaza. This was April 2nd. What happened? Have there been big updates from the BBC, from CNN, from NBC News covering what happened here? No. No. The media collectively moves on because this is what they do, and Israel knows this is what they do. This was that attack. It was a direct, purposeful attack on World Central Kitchen as they were trying to feed starving civilians in Gaza. But it was a mistake. Israeli military admits serious mistake in killing of seven food aid workers. Ah, didn't mean to. Just shot them right through the damn logo. Complete mistake. Yet, a month later, this, come out, this comes out from uh, Human Rights Watch, which should have got just as much attention as the initial attack did. Israelis attacking known aid worker locations. They have knowingly been doing this. Israeli forces have carried out at least eight strikes on aid workers, convoys, and premises in Gaza since October 2023, even though aid groups had provided their coordinates to the Israeli authorities to ensure their protection. Israel's attack on April 1st on the World Central Kitchen Convoy, which killed seven workers, far from being an isolated quote-unquote mistake, is just one of at least eight incidents that Human Rights Watch identified in which aid organizations and UN agencies had communicated with Israeli authorities the GPS coordinates of an aid convoy. And yet Israeli forces attacked the convoy or shelter without any warning. And if you care to pause the video and read through the others, here are the seven other attacks. All of these mistakes... Up, oh, just, I mean, we knew exactly where they were. We have their GPS coordinates. We shot them in the logo, but no, mistakes. How about this mistake? This is from, uh, you know, anyone that tries to tell you, oh, there was, before October 7th, or uh, there was a ceasefire, and Hamas broke that ceasefire. May 12th. 2023, Israeli Defense Forces apologize for death of Al Jazeera's Shireen Abu Akleh for the first time. 
Israel is very sorry. It was a mistake. We killed a Palestinian journalist. Complete mistake. And then we attacked her funeral. Mistake. Oops. Oh, was that her funeral? Oh, I thought it was someone else's funeral. I'm sorry. How about June 14th? June 14th. Which, yeah, clearly was not this year, as right now it is May. June 14th, 2023. Israeli military admits killing Palestinian toddler by mistake. Closes initial investigation. Oh, we we investigated. And it, it turns out we did do this, but it was a mistake. We thought it was a cantaloupe. This is a consistent pattern of displaying that you don't view Palestinian life as valuable. In this case, Forces randomly shot at a car that an officer, that again, this is their claim, that the officer thought he heard shots from. Who knows if that's even true? It, it's likely a lie, but that's their excuse for why this happened. How this was a mistake. Why would you shoot, even if that happened, which I don't believe it happened, even if that happened, why would you shoot at a random family getting into their car unless you don't view their lives as meaningful, as anything? This is the mentality of how Israel operates. There's more. We can keep going. Israel killing a 15-year-old Palestinian girl in West Bank cast light on civiz- civilian casualties. By the way, also worth mentioning here, West Bank, not run by Hamas. So even if they want to claim, oh, what? it's Hamas. Uh, not, no, nothing to do with this. June 29th, 2023. This one's more recent. In Rajab which I've covered several times before. Quote, unquote, they are shooting at us. A fleeing Gaza family is killed along with medics sent to find them. She was on the phone crying for help as medics were finally given the green light in to save her. Israeli forces shot them all. But good news, the White House is assessing if Israel violated their red line with Rafa. Put a better way, this from The Onion, Biden expresses doubts that enough Palestinians have died. This is a disgusting, disgusting U.S. government, led by a disgusting man. How much more needs to happen before there is any value put on the life of Palestinians?